Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Angelic Touch Tarot. I hope you guys are doing fine and uh, this is a reading about a situation where there is no contact situation and in a long distance will the connect connection will revive okay so let us first see what are the feelings of this person towards you what are the feelings of this person towards you the person who is in no contact or a long distance what are this person's current feeling towards you how do they feel towards you the moon five of wands uh, the world lovers card Hmm. okay so basically when it started okay when it started it it seemed like a very divine connection the connection seemed to be very you know magical very beautiful okay this this you felt this connection with this person and it was something very different and divine it was not something you know normal nothing like that it was magical and um, gradually eventually the things started going differently okay uh, i do see there were difference in opinion difference in perspective perception uh, even if it is not a practical verbal war but i do see um, there was um, arguments heated discussion and uh, there was the difference in opinion you both don't seem to be in the same boat because there's this clashes maybe energetically or verbally but i do see here things did change drastically because it started like a magical you know like a fairy tale and then the things drastically changed and there's lo loss of hopes here this person feels a loss of hope they feel struck in this connection they do not know what to do they don't know uh, what what next they want to do or because they don't see a way they don't see a solution they do not know what to do there's a moon card let me clarify this why there is a moon card here why there is a moon card there's some one clarification card for the moon why there is a moon card here. this person is uh, not they are in denial of uh, your feelings your offer your your energy they are in denial of it and they are struck they feel struck here like i do not know how to move forward i don't know what to do and um, i don't see a solution or a way out what am i supposed to do i don't know first of all if i have to tell you you do not know this person completely there are things which you do not know there are things which uh, which is quite hidden from you it shows and they are uh, right now in denial of i don't know what to do i'm i'm not sure about things and whatever they're not accepting your cup of love that's how it is right now i'm sorry to say that but that's how it is how do they view you it's uh, of course they are um they, they, they see you as uh, 
of course their energies are attracted towards you the passion is here the attraction is here that's how they viewed you in the beginning of the connection and i do see this exchange of energies which sem seemed very divine and beautiful excuse me guys let me just yeah but um what are your energies towards this person let me read your energies how do you feel towards them how do you feel towards them Can you see this is this how you feel you feel uh, things are getting toxic okay you you feel heartbroken obviously you see this three of swords you have this immense pain in your heart it is giving you physical pain of course when you are mentally so much disturbed and you have this urgency your energies are like uh, you have this urgency and emergency of knowing things knowing reality reality you want to know the truth and um, you know the hurry hurry kind of energy to know what is going on i this i want just is in this uh, situation things were not fair enough with me and uh, you feel the things are going quite uh, unhealthy and unpleasant for you it's like more like a toxic if i have to tell you this looks like a karmic connection for me you are in pain you are in physical pain your heart seems to be broken i i'm sorry to read all this but uh, what are your energies let me read more what are your energies towards this person you know when when the other person is trying to pull their energies we have this um feeling of as if we are losing something and we cannot control it right that's how you feel you're like your energies are like shouting and trying to stop and trying to control things which are uncontrollable factors of life i don't know why your energy seems like please don't go that's that's the energies okay but let me see if if this connection will revive and uh, what this person thinks about uh, um reconciliation or uh, yeah what this person thinks about reconciliation and is there a reconciliation coming towards you in the near future is there a reconciliation coming towards you in the near future is there a reconciliation coming towards you in the near future the card says a uh, yes okay because um, you see first thing first thing their energies are qu quite conflicted because like i said they are struck they are in denial of things things were magical in the beginning gradually there was a drastic change and uh, and there are this conflicts this is it can be energetical conflicts between you both or it can be a conflicted emotion of this person towards you they are internally in conflict with themselves and they are fighting with it and uh, i do see this person coming towards you in the near future okay uh, slowly but surely but for most of you yes uh this person is uh, coming towards you but uh, if i have to tell you uh, i cannot see this person uh taking complete accountability and responsibility taking a drastic decision about the situation and trying to offer you something very concrete it would be a 
some kind of a casual exchange of energies or conversation a clarification will be given to you an explanation will be given to you uh, this person seems to be a kind of um, you know irresponsible uh, immature hopeless who is not taking in accountability or responsibility of the situations uh, not quite um, you know that kind of energy you get me but yes in the near future you will have exchange of energies because this person will reach out to you um, and I'm getting few more downloads uh, I want um, I want uh, some uh, let me see what are the ancestors Archangel Michael and spirit guides trying to guide you in this particular situation what they are trying to tell you and what they want you to know so let me just uh, pull out some cards um, acceptance you know I I know there will this uh, situation or the path will be quite challenging okay and you need to accept things you need to accept both dark side and the bright side whatever comes your way uh, they are asking you to accept however the things are because your energies are like uh, they're not in peace they are rest restless you are in an urgency emergency of knowing things truth and fact but uh, spirit guides and guardian angels are asking you to shaken up a bit relax and uh, uh, because you're pushing hard and struggling to keep going so try to relax in this moment they're asking you again and again to relax okay um, connect with yourself connect with yourself yes absolutely for now sit in silence okay sit in silence connect with yourself uh, don't be in a hurry burry or emergency because uh, this this energy clearly the spirits are clearly telling me that this is not the right time to make life changing choices okay if possible try to put things on hold or even put it off put them off because this is not the right time for you to make life changing decisions and instead you sit in silence connect with your inner self and now take time to create a foundation for future you get me this is very important you have to take some time to create a foundation for your future which is very important okay so this journey is not about this person this journey is more about you this energy came into your life uh, uh, for you to undergo this uh, lesson karmic lesson now uh, this m journey is more about you and you need to learn this uh, experience learn through this and uh, create a foundation for yourself go for a retreat rejuvenate yourself ask yourself sit in silence and be in peace connect with yourself try to avoid the temptations overwhelmed uh, uh, thing and all that keep it aside for now okay uh, this will be challenging this will be challenging and uh, yeah stillness absolutely uh, go in her hermit mode for now do that connect with yourself you will know the answers but uh, the most important message which i am getting this is not the right time to make a life changing choice this is not the right time to take a huge decision but if you ask me about this person yes in the near future i do see them coming towards you and and uh, they will be offering something which is not very heavy or very concrete or solid or uh, you know you get me it will be a very simple conversation um, some kind of yeah casual conversation 
because this person has already conflicted and like i said there are things th this you do not know this person completely there are things which you are not aware there are things which are masked yeah so this is the reading and let me see what are the uh, messages from this person's higher self for you these are the romantic um, messages and how exactly they feel towards you let me just see just a minute guys <sighs> just a moment I got this where's this yeah only time will tell like I said this is not the time to make a life-changing decision give some time time to yourself you will know you will know when you spend this time alone when you ask yourself when you connect with your inner self most importantly build, build your foundation for the future you need to prioritize yourself because you're not prioritizing you're not giving anything to yourself rather you're giving everything to the situation so yeah so time will tell you what exactly it is <sighs> and you will also get to know the things which will be revealed with time so if you like my readings please join my family and subscribe my channel and if this uh, if this resonates please let me know in the comment section and uh, yeah thank you so much guys take care of yourself have a nice day